You look so scary. Alright, guess what guys? We got, or I got, I guess, um, a new camera. Let me show you it. Alright, we've upgraded to Sony Cybershot. It's not a fancy one with like a little flip camera. So... I won't be able to, um, I won't just stare at myself the entire time instead of talking to y'all. I will um, just be talking to y'all. I have no idea what I look like, which is kind of nerve wracking, but um, hopefully it takes better footage than the one I'm using right now. I'm still going to use this camera for outings and recording um, mostly outdoors, like if I'm going outdoors to some area somewhere but I will be using this I'll be using this camera for um, like my sit down videos like what I'm about to film like what you're about to see so hopefully the quality is much better we're about to watch this footage together I'm in the process of growing my bangs out and for all my previous bang girlies you'll, or I guess guys too, or anybody who's had bangs, you'll know how awkward and awful it is to grow these out. Alright, today is the end of March and I did mention that if I wasn't able to finish a book in March that I was just going to do kind of like a recap video on everything I did attempt to read. I'm kind of upset with myself that I didn't finish a single book, but I think that with working two jobs, with my um, everything else that I was trying to do in the month of March, I just kind of got really um, burned out and I didn't have very much time to enjoy anything that I was doing and that, in that included reading. I was still wanting to read but I wasn't finding joy and feeling like good about reading so um, I think what happened mostly was at the beginning of March I bought um, boy parts I picked up this book to buddy read with one of my friends and she had kind of something drastic happen in her life that changed her plan to read this book so we Put, put it on a hold. I haven't read this book yet. I did start. I got to page 36. I think if I was able to read this book from start to finish, I would have not been in such a reading slump, but because the first book that I was really interested in March, um, in reading in March, got like stopped, then I kind of fell off. Um, I don't think this is bad writing because I'm only 36 pages in so I don't have a real opinion on this book yet, but I will be picking this up in April whether or not um, the person that I was going to buddy read with is ready for it. I think I'm just going to continue. So since I couldn't continue reading boy parts, I picked up one of my ARCs that I was sent. Let's not do that again. It's um, a political book, a uh, fiction, political fiction book. Um, about a family, I believe, and the daughter of someone who's running, I think, for mayor. Um, I got, I think, let me see, I'm saying I think a lot because this was at the beginning of March and I don't really remember 
um, because I tried to pick up a couple different books and nothing was really sticking. I got about, um, I'd say almost halfway, I think I got to page 125 of Let's Not Do That Again, and uh, the book was just not for me. It's a comedy, um, but it was not, it just wasn't grasping me like I wanted it to. I was kind of forcing myself to pick it up every day, and it just, everything was just like piling on and made me not want to read at all, so I decided I would put this down and try it again um, later. So I picked up another ARC I was sent called Rogue Street. Um, this is three short stories and they're based on, um, it's from a young Chinese writer and I've heard like based on the reviews for this book that are already out, there was a lot of good things about the writing. I read the first story and I once again had to force myself to be into it. And I'm not really sure, it was, it kind of reminded me of No Longer Human, and I think I didn't really like, I didn't really enjoy No Longer Human, and so this book I also didn't really enjoy. I did only read one short story, and I think from the one short story I read, I would give that short story maybe a two and a half out of five, um, and I didn't read the other two. I will try to pick this up again, maybe um, give it another chance in another month or two. Um, I will probably try to read both of those again in April, assuming that everything picks up a little bit more. And then I read another ARC. Um, actually, it's not an ARC. It is a completed book, um, but it was sent to me early before any other, before it was released to the public. Truly Madly. This is about Vivian and um, Lawrence Oliver's romance, Old Hollywood. It is um, a biography about them. I did skim this book and not read it completely. I did finish the entire book by skimming. Um, I was more interested in some parts than I was in others. I liked the... I liked reading about old Hollywood. I liked reading about, you know, actors and movies, older movies and stuff like that. I also really enjoyed that the interior of this book has, um, like little photos inserted in uh, of the of Vivian and of Lawrence. Let's see. Um, it showed mental health awareness for Vivian. Um, I believe she had bipolar and it kind of showed how that affected her relationship and her life. And then the most recent book that I have picked up is The Girls and I asked this, I think, on my Instagram story, like, what book I should read next, and a lot of people voted this book. I kind of had it sitting on my shelf for a while, but I'm, I have, I have gotten 104 pages in, and I haven't, like, I haven't not wanted to read it. I've been very invested into this book, so I'm, I'm pretty excited that I'm kind of coming out of my slump a little bit. Um, and then, let's see, this is about, the girls is about um, Evie, who's 14, it's summer, and she meets a couple other girls, and it actually turns out that she joins a cult. I'm at the point in the book where she it, just met all of the rest of the girls, and I think they're about to take her um, to like the cult, the ranch area, and meet all of the rest of the people. So I'm going to show you my April hopefuls, the books that I am hoping that I do end up reading in April. These are the books that I'm hopeful to read in April. I'm going, I'm planning on finishing the girls at the beginning of April. And then um, I have a couple of these that are ARCs and a couple that have been sitting on my to-be-read list for a very, very long time. I'm going to read um, Innocence by Kathy Coote. This is about a 16-year-old student who is pining after her teacher. It kind of goes into like the reverse of My Dark Vanessa, um, Tampa, and Lolita. Um, obviously, those are kind of a book genre that I enjoy. Um, and then an ARC that I was sent. It's called Sedating Elaine. Um, this is about Francis who's in a relationship with Elaine 
and um, she just wants like a moment or two by herself to like collect her thoughts and she also has to pay back her drug dealer and so she comes up with a plan to um, knock Elaine out for a little bit so that she can do all of these things that she hasn't been able to do and then I really really have been putting off Animal and I'm not quite sure why I think it's because it's hard cover and I don't really like hard covers. Um, Animal is about Joan who has spent such a long time enduring um, bad things from men and then she has something happen to her, like shocking happen to her and then kind of like her whole life like replays in her brain and she deals with all of that trauma. I keep putting it off, I'm really not sure why, and I feel bad about putting it off because so many people have told me, like, this book is really good, blah blah blah, so a couple other things on my to-be-read list um, here is Baby, Pandora's Jar, and White Oleander. I don't know if I'm going to get the, to these in April. I don't want to stack my to-be-read list for April too high because I don't want to feel so overwhelmed like I did in March and not be able to get anything read. If I do finish um, these four books that I've decided I want to read in April, then I will pull from these. Um, and I also have the Rules of Attraction that I want to read as well. I don't have that book here. Um, yeah, so I think that about wraps it up for my March did not read list and my April hopeful to read list. Um, let me know what books you read in March or what books you hope to read in April because now that I'm thinking about it I haven't even added any new books to my to be read list. Um, I, I just don't know what happened like I really got burnt out in March and I'm kind of sad about it but now I, I, I'm falling back into the pattern of loving reading and having time to read so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that everything works out for April um, and I will see y'all again in one week. Bye!